guys, what is going on? My name is Eclipse, and today I have somewhat of a random video. I'm gonna be completely honest, this video is gonna be kind of all over the place, and on top of that, it's gonna be relatively short, so I would like to apologize in advance for a short video, but I know for myself I actually prefer shorter videos, so let's just see how this works out. If you like short videos, let me know down in the comments section below. Now real quickly, before I do get into things, I would just like to plug my giveaway away as I'm sure many of you are all aware I'm giving away five $25 iTunes or Google Play gift cards now this will end next Friday on this date right here so if you want to enter I'll have the link to it down in the description below but with that taken care of let's begin for the first half of this video, we're going to be focusing on the executioner glitch. Now, for those of you who are unaware, there's actually a glitch where the executioner's axe or like boomerang thingy will actually go across the entire arena. Now, right here, I'm just speeding this up because Jewish Lewish and I did this for like... 30 minutes and we only got it to work once so essentially you have to put an air troop on top of the executioner as he's like about to lock on to another target it sounds really confusing so once we get the glitch to work I'll go back and slow it down but right here these are just like all failed attempts and the main goal is to put our minions down on top of him as he's about to lock onto the tower and essentially he'll lock onto like two things at once and his axe goes like backwards so right here we're back in normal speed and I want you guys to focus on my executioner because this right here is where all of the action happens so Jewish Lewish he's gonna put some goblins down the executioner destroys those but as you can see he targets the minions and the axe just goes completely out of the arena and if the minions are deployed like properly you can actually get the axe to go in like any direction so for example let's say I had my executioner in a different spot the axe could have went straight towards the king tower instead now this right here is just another failed attempt I tried to put my minions on him and I thought we would have had it right here but nope the axe comes right back so like I said this glitch is extremely unpredictable and it is very very hard so now we're just gonna get into a slow motion version of it so the executioner is approaching up he throws the axe at the goblins it comes right back to him he takes like a step or two and now he throws his axe at the minions but yoy, it just goes away so that's all I really have to say about the executioner glitch. I apologize if it was somewhat short, but I don't want to drag a video on about that glitch because there's not too much to it. Essentially, put an air troop on top of him as he's like about to lock onto something. And if all goes well, he will throw that axe out of nowhere. Now moving on to the next portion of this video, this is just going to be an insane clutch battle. And I've had this recorded for like a week or two now. So if the elite barbs seem extremely over power that would be why but I felt like just putting the executioner glitch in a video wouldn't be enough on its own because right now we're only like a few minutes into this video and I know I said I like short videos but watching like a three minute video I feel like just you know isn't worth uploading so that's the exact reason why I'm putting this battle in here this battle is absolutely amazing all of you guys should hopefully love it and just trust me this battle right here is probably one of the best battles I've ever witnessed in Clash Royale and I know my channel isn't based off replays or anything like that. So that's why I'm going to try not to focus on like the strategy of this battle. Because trust me, just the ending of the battle, just like the craziness, everything combined into one. Most of you will be like, oh my god. God. And that's the reaction that I'm hoping most of you are gonna get from this. So right now, the battle's already like a minute in. There's two minutes left, and so far, nothing too special has happened. You can see a Lava Hound coming in, some Elite Barbs, and like I said, this gameplay is like two weeks old maybe. So if you're wondering why the Elite Barbarians are so overpowered, that is why. So right here, the dude in my clan finally destroys a tower. So he is winning 1-0 to zero right now, and it looks like he's gonna absolutely crush this guy. But I'm telling you you gotta wait until the end for this one because the results will shock you that right there sounds like a clickbait title the results will shock you by eclipse okay so back on track to this battle though so far my clan mate is killing it he has one tower has like no damage taken and he's making it look like a piece of cake now the dude up top he's running a lava hound balloon deck and those decks piss me off so much just because they're amazing like i don't understand i can never seem to stop them so right here the dude up top tries pushing the other lane but my clan mate has elite barbs and a hog so it looks like he's about to steal another 
another tower. And I'm sure at this point, many of you are like Eclipse. Why is this battle even special? Is your clanmate, you know, supposed to get like a three crown with elite barbs? This is nothing impressive. But guys, I'm telling you, you just gotta wait because what's about to happen next? Oh, it is amazing, but back on track to the battle. My clanmate is winning two crowns to none, but if you're looking at that left tower right there, he destroys his first tower of the game. Now we have a Lava Hound coming into that right tower, and it looks like any second now, the results, or not the results, the game is gonna be very close. Like, as you can see, there's another balloon coming. There's a skeleton army on that tower. My clanmate pushes up top towards the king tower. If you're looking, there's 10 seconds left. Now it is tied two to two of fireball goes down there's one hp left on the tower and my clan mate ended up getting a three crown with one hit point left on the tower what okay hopefully i'm not the only one who thought that was crazy like let's be real he started off kicking that dude's ass then out of nowhere he has one hp left on the tower and he somehow manages to get a three crown in my book that's an impressive battle and like i said i haven't seen anything that really compares to that so hopefully you guys liked it as well but like i said earlier guys this video is going to be relatively short so i don't really have anything else to say if you enjoyed this somewhat random video please give it a like down below below also if you would like to enter in my giveaway i will have a link to that at the top of my description as well but guys this has been eclipse thank you all for watching and peace out